Containers are the building blocks of global trade. They connect producers and consumers across continents. They give local farmers and fishermen access to world markets and a world of customers. Not all containers are alike. Most hardware and consumer goods need sturdy and durable boxes for transport. Perishable foods need sophisticated reefers. Even the most fragile commodity must be delivered as a delicacy. Mass container industry supplies advanced solutions that use the least amount of energy possible. In a world with scarce resources, this is what gives everyone a chance to enjoy the fruits of global trade. Containers must protect their sensitive cargo from both Arctic cold and tropical heat with minimal environmental impact. That is why engineers from mass container industry developed the Supertech insulation foam and Starcool technology a refrigerated container system which reduces energy consumption up to 20%. The challenges by transporting fruits and vegetables is that they respire. They're living organisms and they need to be taken special care of. That means that we need to control the environment inside the container to perfection. In order to improve the performance of a container, we had to develop a specific artificial fruit. We did that by purchasing 116,000 plastic balls. We modified the plastic balls so that they can respire much in the same way that fruits and vegetables does. And that means that the products will be perfect even after several weeks of transportation. With its keen focus on energy efficiency, mass container industry has quickly climbed to be one of the world's prime suppliers. But there is more to the story. A service organization with global scope and engineers who keep testing new ideas. If we want to design a new floor construction for a container, first off we have to mimic the harsh environment that it has to see throughout its lifetime. That means that we have to do destructive testing, we have to slam and bang the container, we have to break it, we will drive a heavy forklift inside and we will see destruction. Once we've seen destruction, we can build something new and try to improve it and then retest it. If it doesn't break, then it's okay. Then we'll use it. Every element of a container is produced with the lowest environmental impact. So mass container industry has experimented with a sustainable way to use recycled plastic waste. With facilities in China and Chile, mass container industry manufactures reefer containers and dry containers close to the largest markets. More than 6,000 people are employed by mass container industry and the output is growing, both in China and in Chile. But growth must never come at the expense of safety. The reason why we have a low accident rate, I think it's because of our safety training program. Start from the management team and to manager level and to whatever you call the foreman, everybody is focused on safety, not just capacity or how many boxes we can produce every day. So we said safety comes first. Most container industries is a great place to work. We have a lot of fun, we do some specific projects. We can come up with ideas, we get them improved, we build them, and then we test them, and yeah, in the end we get to produce it and show it to everybody else. Billions of people around the world depend on containers for a steady supply of food and goods. As consumers, we want our food to be fresh when we buy it but we also expect our goods to be produced and transported in a sustainable way. Merce Container Industry has made a business of making world trade more efficient by thinking outside the box.